record here. Cool. And then let me just make sure everyone's looking good. Yep. And then, all right, cool. So, um, all right, how do we, how do we intro this? Let's see. Um, all right. Okay. I think I got it. All right, cool. Okay. okay. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Today I'm interviewing Carrie, uh, all the way from the big Island. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha to you. Um, we kind of all wish we were where you're at right now. So, um, aloha, uh, to Carrie. Um, Carrie's been in the program. Um, actually, we would say this is a um, kind of an old school um, setup. You were in the program a while back, um, and we're just now getting to interview you, which is cool. Um, and you had some awesome success, so I definitely wanted to go through that. So let's jump right into it. So what were you doing, you know, right before you finally jumped into my program? Uh, I was in healthcare as a as a therapist, working seven to three, seven to four, and it was just kind of a it's an, in some ways a dying field. You know, even before the pandemic, it was already kind of a dying field and mm. still kind of is, at least sure. for the therapy side. Oh, um, therapy side. Okay. Yeah. So for, for what you were doing, it was. Yeah. Not lucrative at all. It wasn't job security, you know. Right. And you wanted that entrepreneurship kind of element. It, exactly. I wanted to take ownership of my own life, my own career, my money. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, I remember we had talked and then, you know, we had we had chatted a bit and then you finally did end up joining in um, and all of that. So let's talk contracts. All right. Right. So let's say since joining the program, um, how many contracts have you been able to sign off on? Um, it's been I mean, from a lot of small ones and a few medium sized big ones, I'd say probably over 20. You know, okay. some of them were small, had the, I need a couple of placements here and there. Some have been cont- the big ones have been continuous. Yeah. And I remember that specifically about you, right. Um, with your contracts, because you had a couple that were just like, you know, uh, they were driver related and they, they yeah. wanted like a hundred drivers. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And you had multiples of those. And then, um, and then you had a bunch of other, uh, little ones that were just, you know, Hey, give me, you know, five, 10, whatever, five, 10 people. I don't know. Two people exactly. here, that kind of yeah, thing. Here, two here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Cool. Great. Um, so I guess revenue wise, um, everybody wants to know how much revenue has Kerry made, you know, since joining the program. Oh, definitely north of six figures. <laughs> okay. Fair yeah. enough. All yeah, right. definitely. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So since joining, Carrie's become a, a six figure, official six figure recruiter, which is yes. great. Um, and so during the program, were you continuing to work your nine to five or did you uh, I was for a few months and I finally, when I, things built up more and more and I knew I could, I needed to focus full time on it. I stepped away. Got it. Okay. So you were able to see proof of concept and then you were able to kind of generate the revenue and then it was exactly. kind of a transition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Similar That's to like, me. That's so why I still have, you know, the one job coming in, but I could still learn and build this up more and more. Right. Gotcha. Yep. Absolutely. And then make it your full time, you know, thing, which it is now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. Cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's go into like, you know, without divulging the secrets and systems and processes of the program, um, the full blueprint, what was like the biggest impact maybe uh, of the program that kind of like really helped you out or made it, made it a real, uh, booster for you to be able to get those contracts, especially those big hitter ones and stuff like that. I would say just knowing where to find them, how to talk to them, you know, so they understand, you know, Hey, I'm not just someone off the street, you know, someone I need to show I had the wording was show, Hey, I know what I'm doing. You need me. And what, here's how I can help you. Sure. I say that that'd be the biggest things. Gotcha. The positioning and open my mind up to other areas of what's all, what else out there, stuff I've never even even thought of. Sure. Definitely. Yeah. That's a big one too. Um, uh, and I, I noticed that too. Yeah. You know, I mean, who'd ever thought, you know, you'd be, you know, placing, you know, contract for hundred CDL drivers. Right. You know, it's like, that, yeah, I never would have thought of it at all. Yeah. Or even stuff like warehouse and logistics and right. Right. You know. Those things, yeah. Folks never just think about, but there's a, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of lucrative, um, a lot of lucrative stuff in there. Um, so overall, just, you know, big picture, let's say, 
somebody watching this interview um, with you overall, like what advice would you give to somebody that's on the fence thinking about joining the program? And they're, you know, just saying, I don't know. I don't know if it's right for me. I don't know if I, I want to do recruiting, but I don't know if I want to get into the program to jump in and, and learn how to do it yet. I would say you definitely need to get in the program, learn, take your time, study, take notes, you know, reach out to reach out to Ben, get advice. You know, you don't have to go head first, head strong on day one. I, I took my time to study and learn before I started re- branching out. Mm-hmm. You know, just make sure you get, make sure you're comfortable first mm-hmm. and ha- build up that confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, a lot of people have a preconceived notion that day one, it's like we go full force. You know, you're, yeah. you're expected to have a client signed on the first day of the program. And yeah. uh, it's nowhere near like that. You know, it's a buildup. Right. So that's why we go yeah. for two months. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, and just, it's a way to learn everything. You know, like the big thing I learned was, you know, follow up, follow up, follow up. Fortunes you know. in the follow up. That'll never exactly. die. Yeah, exactly. You know, Absolutely. And if someone says no, you're not going to die if someone says no. Right. Yep. They might know six times that seventh time they say, yes, we're ready. Exactly. Right. Which has happened all the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely. OK. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, uh, we don't we don't uh, you know, we don't expect everyone to be um, an accelerated, you know, recruiter coming into the program. Right. You know, we've got a, a varying degree of people from literally fresh newbies that know nothing in recruiting Mm -hmm. to people that may or may not have a book of business and they're already recruiting. Um, Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. I Um, jumped in not knowing anything and no experience. Yeah. Right. Total fresh, just, you know, out of nowhere and then built up everything. I mean, and six figures later, you know, you can tell a story about it, you know? So it's kind of like, and now it's your full-time gig, which is awesome. Um, I mean, that's just, you know, proof in the pudding. I love that. Um, yeah. when freedom, can... boss, work from home. Right, right, definitely. Work from home in Hawaii. Is that especially? Um, I... yeah. Right. So, yeah, that's the interesting part, too. I think um, just on, an, on, on one note to cover um, as we close up a little bit. You're working from the islands. You, I mean, yeah. you're in Hawaii, right? So, yeah. but but your clients are really not in Hawaii. Your clients are no. in states. Yeah, East Coast and Eastern Time and Central Time are most of them. So, mm-hmm. I mean, but I don't mind the early days. I finish earlier. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, people thinking, you know, hey, I I can't start a recruiting agency because of this, that, or the other, or whatever. Um, <laughs> think otherwise, because yeah. um, it's very, very different than you think it is. And a lot of them are impressed that I'm willing to get up sometimes at two, two thirty in the morning to take a call to, you know, to work. They're impressed and like, wow, we have staff recruiters that don't do this kind of work. <laughs> right. Most- exactly. Right. Little, little did they know you're on island time until they, yeah, until they find out maybe. Some of them know up front and they're like, okay, we'll give it a shot. You know, they're probably thinking, oh, he's not going to do it. And then like, well, he does. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I love it. And, uh, I, I love your, I love, I love your name as well. Pac- Pacific shore recruiting, recruiting. recruiting? Yeah. Yep. I, yeah, exactly. it came down to that or, or Ohana recruiting. And I thought, you know, maybe Pacific shore is a little more, I can include the West coast in and, you know, the, this way it's not just exclusive to the islands. Right, 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 right. Yeah. That makes sense. Totally. Yeah. No, either way. I love it, man. Um, I love it. Definitely. Well, I appreciate you sharing your whole story with us. I appreciate you kind of giving some nuggets um, and some insight into the program as far as kind of your experience goes and uh, and how it went and all that. And um, and like I said, everyone, hey, um, when you cross over the seven figure mark, we'll do, we'll do another interview. Um, right. So that that's the goal about. next. Yeah, that's the next goal, right? You know. Yeah. And so be like be like ten Madden. I want that seven figures. <laughs> exactly. Yes. 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 Indeed. So. All right. I appreciate uh, your time and um, we'll talk to you at that point then. All right, man. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Mahalo. Mahalo. All right.